Tyler. It is Thanksgiving upon us. Go through this every, I, I, and I do this every year, but it just, if it to me, it feels like it just got here so fast. Like, I just, you know, it was New Year's, I sneezed, and then boom. Well, Smash Mouth was correct in All-Star by saying the years start coming, they don't stop coming. I, I, we just didn't realize how hard they would be. <laughs> when don't isolate that vocal. I just, I, I just, I don't know, I'm... I'm just not ready. I'm still not ready. What do you mean not for ready? For the holiday. I'm just still not prepared. Oh, Thanksgiving is the best. Why? The why time is, it? is a... Dude, it's just... For me, it's... It's basic, It's my favorite. My birthday is the 4th of July. Mm-hmm. And I don't really, like, feel the same way about that as I would Thanksgiving. I mean, Thanksgiving, it's family, food, and football. Can't get better than that. All day. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. I love it. And I, there's no there's none of this extra pressure about the Christmas. Like there's pressure to get the food and the whole timing of the food. And I don't know what the whole rush is to have it ready at 2 p.m. Why is everybody eating so early? Like I get it, you want to watch football while you're doing it yeah. kind of thing, but it's like dude, like it's Thanksgiving dinner, like Yeah, just snack on I don't get pregame. That. I don't get that Pre-game, at all. Snack but all day. I love Thanksgiving because it's just it's a feel good holiday. Yeah. For for me, I mean, you know, getting together with you know seeing my family, my brothers, my sister, and uh, you know her husband and their daughter coming in. It's just everybody gets together. We all laugh a lot. I mean, it's just it's a full house and it feels good. And you uh, usually your tradition is you just do it with your. Uh your family like at your parents house right pretty much yeah they like they like to host that i mean i get a turkey i got a turkey right now it's like a 12 pound turkey in there which i'm gonna do at a later date but uh no i mean they like to do i mean they want to host so i already have you know a nice bottle of wine to bring like okay so you don't show up empty okay so you do bring you do bring something okay proper etiquette not only did i call to say you know is there anything that you guys can't find because apparently the shortages of you know cranberry sauce or you know turkeys are running light it's floating in by california what's going in all there you know, so I called ahead, you know, is there anything that you guys are missing that I may be able to find for you or something that you're struggling for? No, 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 we're all good. You don't need to bring anything. Yeah, of course. Got right. A nice bottle of wine coming. Like, don't yeah. worry. It's a commemorative championship uh, lightning wine. A Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, I'm not really a wine person. A Sovington. Yeah, I'm not really a wine <laughs> Call person. Call it the Sovington. If it's, if no it's, accent. If it's free, it's for me. I just drink whatever. Whatever's there. You know, whatever. Here's now, here. now, when you bring in this wine, does this give you an excuse not to get involved in the kitchen? Do you feel like that just validates because you brought something that, hey, right. I don't have to clean up? I mean, at least that's what I I'm, that's what I'm thinking. You, you do Usually, my mom likes to take charge of the whole situation. Ah, uh, yes. I offer the assistance because the majority of the time, and she will attest to this, we're all sitting around, yeah, farting around, right. getting, you know, she's in the kitchen, and that's fine. You know, at first it's fine. Yeah. At first it's fine. We're all cool. She's in the kitchen. Everybody, you know, relax, have a drink, and I get you something. Take a seat. You know, everybody's chit chatting and whatever, and then it starts to get a little stressful. Because there's a lot going on. You got to time this. We got to time the the green beans. We got to time the potatoes. We got to time the turkey. We got to time this and that and the other. And we're all you know watching the game and we're doing this and no one's saying anything. It's not like she needs our help. It's one of those things. Like I don't want to be. In, I'm not going to the party, but I'd like to be asked. Yeah. And I love her to pieces, but that pretty much is what it is. So all you really have to do is ask, and if you do, she will give you a little piece. She'll let you do a little job. You get a little job. I think my job uh, last Christmas was to help her mix. She was making her own glaze for the ham, her own ham glaze with Coleman's dry mustard. And um, so I got to help mix that, which was kind of cool because we made it from scratch together. Um, But usually with Thanksgiving, my job will be at the end, the carving. Say, okay, Mr. Meat Man, you come on over here and... You know, they got a nice electric carver, so I can... There you go. Profe- it's easy. Professional. Right. I mean, that's pretty much what ends up being my job if I can't prep, help prep 
prep the table, but that's usually done. I will tell you this. I like, think I think when you do ask, let me help, deep down in the back of your head, you're like, please just say no. Just say no. Yeah, I'd and like to go yeah, sit down with everybody. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I like Thanksgiving because it's just it's just an excuse for me to pig out, bud. <laughs> like, I, I'm not looking. that's part of it. That's I'm, great. There's a shitload exactly. of food. Exactly. I'm not. I don't. The leftovers. Yeah. You're set for the week. I don't week. give a fuck about calories. I don't give a fuck about the, my look. I'm wearing sweatpants. A wife beater, and Once let's you start just, to unbutton. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you gotta yeah. wear stretchy pants. It's very but stretchy this, pants, or let that button loose, or yeah, take the belt off. Yeah. Whatever you gotta and, do and to the make food. it fit. I mean, the food, the f- the food. It's just so endless the amount of food you could have, and um, you know, <clears throat> I would really like to know. Do you have like a um, signature dish or anything that your family does in particular? Nothing really too out of the ordinary. Um, like what? It's like fairly what's your... traditional. Like when it comes to like the recipe and the meal itself. Okay, so you don't have like a signature dish like that you're doing. Not for Thanksgiving. Okay. Not for Thanksgiving. You know, usually it's the, the turkey. You know, my mom does a uh, sautéed green beans uh, with. You know, olive oil, a little butter, a little salt and pepper, and slivered almonds. You know, saute that up. It comes out really good. And then the, uh, kind of like those oven gold potatoes, or little red petite yeah, potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she slices them up and like with bacon bits and stuff and roast those with the turkey, too, mm-hmm. at the same time. Uh, I mean, it comes out fantastic. And, of course, you got all the fixings on the table. There's bread rolls. There's right. a plate that has, you know, there's... Uh, pickles and olives and little knickknacks, yeah. you know, cubes yeah. of cheese. The nines. She goes above and beyond Hell yeah. for that kind of a setting. And, uh, you know, that can become stressful sometimes because she's the type of person that it needs to be perfect. Right. And through the years, she's come to terms with, you know what, sometimes you just got to say... Fuck it. It didn't work out. Right. Yeah, the turkey's dry. Whatever. I slaved over this. She's getting to that point. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love to see that out of her. Just like, you know what? I did all this, so eat it or not. Right. Love you. Yeah. I'm like, you know what, Mom? Hell yeah. Yeah. Who ca- it's delicious anyway, and you're over-critiquing yourself, but you put all this on for us and you know yes we did all get together sure I'm bringing something I'm trying to contribute or whatever but she is in charge she's the captain in this ship I'll tell you the, the two things that I that I food wise enjoy and this one's this one's a little, little quiet underrated but it's literally my favorite thing to eat is sweet potatoes with marshmallows on top that God, you're making my stomach that, burn. That Ew. gets me hot and Ew. that gets me hot and heavy, bud. Really? Give y'all, oh, dude. That just that's when the way do my you heart. eat it in the meal? No, that's its that's its <gasps> that's its little that's its side, bud. That's the side. So you're taking like, bites of it with everything oh, else, or yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, man, do you dude. hit it first before the other things? Oh fuck yes, I do. That's the oh, first thing. You're making that's, it hard to mm, love you. Mm, ah, mm. I love you. you know what I like but to, that's just. You know what I like to wash it down with too? A nice cold glass of eggnog too. Thanksgiving is when I start the eggnog. <laughs> yes. You put rum in it. No. You're drinking the uh, oh, you're just drink, drinking the no, no. What I'm, is up with you in the dairy drip? Dude, I love the dairy drip. <laughs> Eggnog is... Now listen, I've had it with rum, and even with vodka too, in, in the past. Yeah, vodka can mix with anything. And much. yeah, it's okay, but I just like the classic eggnog. Oh, my yes. dad used to make that. Uh, As a kid, I thought it was really good because... I don't know if it was because it was so different. Yeah. Something to be said about you and the flavor of vanilla, because the <laughs> fact that you have to use vanilla extract in that and everything is kind of like vanilla ice cream. With yeah. This or that. We're talking about cereal and mixing it with that. You are, I already know what to get you for Christmas. <laughs> but you just get me like a gallon Stop. of eggnog. <laughs> I, I mean, I would marry you on oh. sight, bud. That's, that's it. Mm. That is it. That, that's, I'm simple, bud. Well, then everything else. All right. All right. I, but, I can't, I'm not down. 
Dude, See, but boy. how you feel about sweet potatoes and marshmallows is how I feel about green bean casserole. I don't understand how anybody could eat that like that. That is okay. that is just I don't get it. I get down with that, man. Cream of mushroom soup, the green beans, the French fried onions. It's I I know. What do you do? Look at me the same way I was looking at you. What do you have in uh, tapioca pudding <laughs> for breakfast or dessert? Like what do you what are you doing, bud? What? No, I think that I don't have dessert. I can't. But you know what's interesting with talking about the foods and having a little maybe disagreement about what's good and what's not. I have USA Today's top 10 Thanksgiving foods voted on by Americans. Now, interesting to know, number 10. Guess. What's number 10? Turkey. Bro, it's turkey. Yeah, because I saw the list. Fuck you. I looked at Stop your it. list. Stop it. looking at my cards. But you have it like laying down. I looked at it. I all cheated. Right. All right. I, that's all I'm going to say. Which, you know what? If I'm you. Right here. If you. Get my own little stand yeah. Like I'm a composer. You should. Let's get a little wall right here so I don't have to really see you. That'd be great. You should. No. But. <laughs> I'm not surprised because I feel um, as the years have gone on that more and more people are not eating, like, they're not eating turkey. Like, that's not, like, their main thing. I'm seeing, I've heard that as well. I'm seeing, you know, I'm, I'm seeing ham. I'm seeing, um, I'm actually seeing, like, briskets. Um, I've seen people do, like, a tenderloin, beef tenderloin mm -hmm. meal, uh, rib roast, things of that nature. Uh, not really getting away from the turkey. Uh, and, you know, I don't even do A lot do of seafood uh, going on, actually. Like, I know a lot of people are iffy about seafood, but I know, yeah. like, my buddy Terrence, him and his wife are going to be having a seafood boil and a clam bake. But like, I, they're getting down, bro. I, I don't, but, um, yeah, I'm, it, you know, now it, it's just like... As long as there's a bunch of food there and there's a gathering, yeah, that's, that's really that, all that matters. Exactly. What, how you, whatever you have, you can... You can switch it up to right. whatever. It's I mean, what it started it, with turkey because, I mean, the first Thanksgiving was in 1621. Right. Where, ironically enough, the natives welcomed open arms undocumented immigrants. All right, all right, fine. Don't bring up politics at the Thanksgiving table. Fine. Come on, bud. In number nine comes in your favorite, green bean casserole. Oh, man. <laughs> Number should, nine. Shouldn't even be on the list. Shouldn't be on the list. No. Oh. I don't even... Uh, no. No? That makes... No. I'd rather, I go with the GBC. I'd rather eat... I'd rather eat a handful of those Pocky chips than eat green bean casserole. I would and rather And you all saw how well I handled sweet it. sweet potatoes than I have think, more I think of those any, chips. I think anybody would. What's, what's the next oh. one? What's the next one? What have we got? Number eight. Cranberry sauce and cranberries. Hmm. Okay. I feel like I that should that. be lower on the list, to be honest with you. I'm not a big cranberry fan. No. I'm not. I, I don't think this should make the list, to be honest with you. I get that it's a staple. That's probably why it's here yeah. for nostalgic reasons, yeah. but I don't really feel like it's good. Yeah. No, not Whether not. you've made them from scratch and you did the whole bit with the berries, or you got that can, yeah. like it's Alpo dog cat food that slides out it keeps it maintains yeah. the mold of yeah. the can nah you won't see that at my table yeah no nah. i mean you'll see it at my folks table but i'm not touching it right. it's just yeah. something that is done uh number seven another thing that i'm not getting down on pumpkin pie i i'm gonna have to break up with <laughs> Pumpkin pie? Are you? I'll pass. Thanks. I'll oh, have a coffee. First of all, dessert. first of all, you should have no right to say it because you're you're not a big sweets person. You're not a dessert person. You. I said I'm not getting down on it. I get people love pumpkin pie you're with whipped cream. You're breaking my heart a little. There's bit. There's more pie for you. I'm. I'm sorry. I saved extra. I what's saved. The, would you like my slice? What's the next one? <laughs> what's the next? The one? next one comes in at number six and. I like this one, but we never have it at my family's table, and I kind of want to integrate it now because I didn't really realize it is considered a Thanksgiving food, and I guess a lot of people do, is mac and cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Mac and cheese. Yeah. I love it. Why not? Why is that not? It should be higher on the list, in my opinion, but you know I, I, I don't know. I mean, you because you could have 
mac and cheese whenever you want. And yeah, I yeah, I you think could, it's pretty cool. You could have a turkey whenever you, can do you want. Do a special but... one that has like you know breadcrumbs on the top. Put stuffing. Oh, on yeah. the top of your mac and cheese. Yeah. Now my mind is going wild. Right. And I'm like, all right, I'm kind of excited about yeah. mac and cheese at the Thanksgiving table. Why have? Right. Yeah. Ma. I'm gonna bring some mac and cheese with that bottle I mean, of wine. Yeah, I'm just saying. Let's yeah. try it. It's, it's not bad. Not you don't bad have to idea. like it. I'm gonna eat it. I'll probably make a sandwich out of it. Like you always complained about that I make a sandwich out of everything because then number five comes in at bread. At number five comes bread. in with yeah bread. rolls bread rolls bread rolls bread rolls. Bread not, rolls. Not, not it's something that just kind of needs to be there because everyone's gonna take one. They may eat a couple of bites or two, but you know what? If I got mac and cheese on the table. Little sliders. Yeah, I, oh. unless, uh, man, like I said, unless if I'm at a restaurant, I'm just really not just just gonna eat bread. You can just, I mean, I all right, I can go get, to Olive Garden get some unlimited breadsticks. Well, I just said unless if mm. I go out, but I mean, mm. I'm not gonna lie. If you put a bowl of bread in front of me, I'm probably gonna eat it. Hell I mean, yeah. I'm just not, you know. But Why not? you know, that's yeah. All right, four. You're gonna Maybe be excited four? about this one, number four. Candied sweet potatoes. Yeah. Comes in at number four. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, yeah. how do you, with the marshmallows, anything besides marshmallows? I remember my sister and my father used to do sweet potato with, they would put butter on it, and then they had uh, like a brown sugar cinnamon yeah, well, yeah, mix we just, shaker. We, yeah, we do the, the butter. We do yeah. the butter. Well, we grab... We don't grab like canned yams or anything. We actually right, grab the, the potato, potato, peel it, cut it. Uh, yeah, we put um, margarine. We take the little bits, those little yeah. Hairs yeah, we put margarine. <laughs> yeah, we do margarine and then just marshmallows on top. I don't do the brown sugar. I don't do the cinnamon. I don't do any of that. I just straight that. And you put the margarine. margarine. Do the marshmallows melt into it, or how does that? A little work? bit. So it kind of like the the. The marshmallow that's just on top of the potato itself melts a little bit, but then the top is kind of like, you know, roasted, like how you roast a marshmallow over I was going to say, like, if you were to make, like, a souffle or, like, a creme brulee or something like that, and you have that little... It's a tool that the, the right. torch... Right, yeah, it kind of comes out like... It kind of comes out like that on top, mm. but okay. but that is... If you're a fan of that, I can see... That is literally my all-time... I, I can I can really get down on that. Yeah. And I know it's not you like a big... You can have seconds because uh, I'm, not, I'm mm, not going for it. Yummy. Number three, which I feel is up for debate because I don't find it to be a food. Number three is gravy. Yeah, I... No. It's not a food. No. It's a dressing. Yeah, no. It's a way gravy. to no. elevate whatever you're doing because you're putting it on the turkey, you're putting it on... No, what's uh, uh, then? What would it be two? What's uh, two? Number two is stuffing. Okay. Now, can I ask you this? Do you call it stuffing or dressing? Stuffing. Stuffing. So yeah. do I. Where? I mean, and I guess dressing is more of a southern term. I believe. I don't know. I don't know. We've always called I it stuffing. Tell you. I mean, stovetop stuffing. Perhaps, perhaps I've thing. always like, called it stuffing. I've always called it stuffing myself, but I've heard a lot of people that do call it dressing. Do you call it dressing? Let me know. I don't know. Maybe what's you're, up with that? I mean, is there a thing? Educate thing. me a little bit. I don't know. Um, do you stuff the turkey before you cook it, no. or do you do it as Separate. a side? I do it as a side as well. I do it as a side. Okay. Now we're on the same page. Now hold on. Now yeah. so. When I used to, I used to get like the turkey, like the turkey turkey, regular turkey, right? And then I would stuff it with that. But now since I went to just straight boneless breast. So you would stuff it with a turkey. Yes, I that have. That could be stuffed. Right. But now since I do just a breast. Just I so cook, many euphemisms here. I'm sorry I to cook interrupt. It. <laughs> yeah. I cook it on the side now. But okay. I do like it that I, because I, you can make more of it. It's then if you would stuff it in the turkey because you're kind of limited depending on the size of turkey you have. Okay. But either way, it all comes out the same. Doesn't you know? That's whatever. What's number one then? What number we got? Number one. Everybody's favorite, baby. What? Another topping, or the gravy to top. Mashed potatoes. Hell number yeah. Number one. Oh, man. Like that meme with the, the lady in the kayak going down the mashed potatoes in a river of gravy? That is me. Okay. Thousand percent. Okay. Potatoes all day. Yeah. 
all day. I can't get mad at that. I'm surprised that. I would like loaded potatoes too sometimes. I'm surprised like the like the the crackers didn't make you know like the the little snack tray. It's like, not about us. What I didn't say. Oh, that. the snack tray. I said the snack tray. <laughs> this the you know you put the little lunch meat and uh, cheese on it. You know how Lunchables? like a chip like. Well, not a lunchable, but I mean, no. Char, char, charcuterie. Yeah, charcuterie boards. Char- charcuterie. Is it called charcuterie? I don't know how to pronounce charcuterie. it. Charcuterie, and then it's on a board. There's a video of an old man calling it like charcuterie or something. I don't something know. Like. I I just feel I feel like that's okay. not not. I mean, I don't know. I think like that would be okay. Nice. Yeah, with like salami and pepperoni and right, right, and yeah, cheese. yeah. But oh, you know, the, you. the, you. the yeah. cheaper people are, you know, they're just buying like a snack pack thing, you know, right, like a little the snack tray. Yeah, yeah, and they're just getting that, you know. What I mean, but I'm surprised that's not on the to list. To get like a nice top shelf one and put it on a wooden cutting board and really I'm, make it as hipster as possible. And I'm surprised cider's not on the list. I feel cider is a really good. Yeah. It's a drink. I mean, we do but, we do wine and ginger ale. Okay. Okay, but I feel cider. Si- si- I mean, cider. If you were to mix the two. Yeah. Yeah. Or you know, what? You could also say applesauce. Applesauce wasn't even on there. I don't know if you're a fan of applesauce. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't I'm just, mind I'm just, applesauce. I'm just throwing. But that's usually thrown in with pork. Uh, for like one of my family's like, yeah, doing it. like yeah, that's a side yeah. With, you could do it with, with turkey. You could do it with turkey too. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. You know. You know. I mean, yeah. and again, there is a plate full of fucking. Pickles and olives on my family's table, so who the hell am I to say? But um, you know it, you know the food's great and everything, and and you, but you know there's football all day. I mean, you throw that stuff on, and you know, every it's just something in the background. Everybody can intermingle in between, and then have a look, and then. But at the end of the day, it's all oh, about I'm being. Out in the kitchen. It's all about being thankful. At the end of the day, that's what's all about. So. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm very thankful for obviously you. That that's first and foremost. Uh, you know, both of our families and everything. I mean, I I, I couldn't ask for anything more. So you know, it's uh, that's what it, me in the fields. That man. I mean, but that's what it's really about, man. Like you know, try try to forget all this other bullshit and just you know, the food's great, football's great, and everything. But it, it's really just about at least as as I've gotten older. I've just appreciated, uh, you know, who I have in my life and my family and everything. So, you know. It's it's interesting and, you know, the, the whole saying of the failures in our life lead us to the things that end up either making or breaking you. And if you decide to help make it, you can become successful. And not success in terms of, you know, finance and all that stuff, but just happy and content and stable in yourself and in your life and you know in the same fashion I'm very thankful for you because the failures that ended up leading me to meet you if those mistakes were not made I wouldn't know you and I'm very I'm thankful that those things happen as much as I hated them at the time right as much as I bitched about them like a baby it, I'm so happy it happened. Dude, because if it didn't happen, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. We wouldn't have the relationship we would right now. Right. I know people look at it from the outside and they're like, dude, they think the complete opposite. Why does this work? Right. Because of that mutual respect. Because of understanding mm-hmm. that person. And in the same fashion, you know, my family's the same way. We don't, we don't agree on a lot of things. And you don't have to. And you don't have and to. And you, you don't and have I'm to. I'm so thankful for them in my life because you and them, even though we don't agree on all that stuff and don't see eye to eye on everything, when there's trouble or there's a problem that someone can fix, we're always there for each other. Mm-hmm. And if you have that, you have so much to be grateful for. I mean, when I wake up in the morning, realize that I have a roof over my head. I have food in the fridge. I do have a job. I've got people that love me. I've got more than like three quarters of most of the people in the world. I've got more than that. Yeah. By having the basic shit. By we having just the basic shit. Take that people think granted. it's such a shitty life. Like, oh, like yeah, work sucks. 
Oh well. Like yeah, we're well, all doing it. We don't it. have to do it. It's fucking awful. Yeah, we I'm there with do you. It. I don't want to go. I'd love to relax and kick it at home and have everything that I need. But you know what? Sometimes you got to put that in, and you know when it pays off, and you can enjoy yourself and relax for a minute. Take it all in. Take yeah. it all in. Don't ever forget it. I and um, you know I uh, I also want to be thankful to uh, all of you, all the subscribers, all the people that have watched our video so far. You know we're just starting just off. Fucking around, man. We're just starting off, and we're just trying to you know give uh, you know give some new content out, try to entertain people. Um, but I'm really thankful for everybody who has you know given us the support liked our videos you know spread the love and um it's really cool and we're really thankful for that um yeah but we're not expecting people to be really watching it at all to be honest with you we have a lot of ideas that we want to do in the future um we have a lot of people that are willing to help as well so it's I need all, all the help i can get yeah it's uh it's only <laughs> It's, it's only going to get better from here, so just, you know, be patient. You know, we're just going to keep... Can I get keep... another drink? Huh? Maybe a Shirley Temple. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, listen, we wish uh, everybody happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, and, you know, just, just, just... Be grateful. Be grateful. Be humble. Even when it's difficult not to be, do your best to be the bigger person. And, yeah, and just enjoy. I'm not good at <laughs> All right. Everybody have a good day. Be blessed.